SAF, it's a, a low carbon aviation uh, fuel in terms of uh, aiming at uh, reduction CO2 emissions based on the life cycle assessment and you can make SAF from many different feedstocks such as forestry uh, residues, agricultural residues, municipal solid waste, uh, used cooking oils, algae. So you have many potential solutions to use different renewable uh, raw material and to associate them with different technical pathways in order to produce SAF. SAF have been approved as JT, JT1, so it means, and it's very important, that is today it's a ready-to-use solution, it's a drop-in solution, and you can use it without any modification currently in our aircraft and with the existing engines. Today, and based on the life cycle assessment, we can assume that we can reduce up to 80% a CO2 emission per uh, each ton of uh, uh, kerosene fossil fuel substituted with SAF. Our uh, uh, short-term action is to ensure that we can go beyond the two-day uh, maximum blending level limitation, which is 50% blend, so mixing fossil kerosene and SAF. And we are working on going beyond this and reaching the 100% in order to uh, be able to demonstrate that aviation is ready uh, for ramping up SAF usage.